You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. South America, North America. The thing I really like about playing the vibes, it makes people happy. So, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, uh, not really. Push it to the limit. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! I'm dialing my daddy. He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without the phone. Just letting you take me! Yes, you are! End of the line! No, it isn't! You ain't taking me nowhere! Yes, I am! I'm out of here, dickwad! No, you're fucking not! Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. There ain't no child lock on this thing! But I'm right here! with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up! He's class. What, Raptor? Yo, you wanna go down at the strip club, Mr. Bench, yeah? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and, uh... <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, he better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. Why do you always call my mobile? 
Nico, I've been invited to your cousin's wedding. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. Malik, I want to introduce you to John Bravelli. Head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. Hey, Garina. They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him he was sent by a new friend. How's my favorite girl? We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. You don't believe we got her. Will you do it? Ma's still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now, am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. Move away from the door! Hey, Tommy, check this out. 707 rate hey, show Phil. What? Hey, pal. What's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call for my big buddy call. Tell him I went out to get some pretty. No problem. Ridiculous. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> A friend? Oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That'd be. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> it's the boss. Said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. Baz Rudin bringing masculinity back to television. The Men's Room with Baz and Jeremy. Tune in. Maybe we should just listen to the radio this trip. Okay, so the only surviving members are the ones who aren't cool enough to kill themselves with alcohol, drugs, and self-inflicted. Now we're sure to have the feds on us. Listen to the radio. You should meet my husband. He wears my underwear when he thinks. 
engage with radiocarbon data. For a small fee, we'll send... The feds love this exactly. speed. Exactly. See, that's exactly the, the point I'm trying to make. It's what they don't want you to know. That's why I drive a hybrid SUV to the organic market across town to buy imported organic Norwegian mushrooms that have been flown in, burning tons of pollutants, killing the pollutants so they can't pollute anymore. See, that's what makes me an environmentalist. I understand the science. I know how it works. I got taught it in drama school. See, I only drink bottled water that's shipped from Samoa instead of pumped from a well across town because everything here, it's just so dirty. It, it, it's a lot like my new film. There's a, a chase scene on the Los Santos freeway and a huge monkey, some dinosaurs who are trapped in amber. It's very original. It, it's a nice, quiet character piece. Wow, that sounds great, Brandon. Now, let's take a quick break. We're going to be back with more Ben Roberts and gubernatorial candidate John Hunter. Hey, I got you. Go. Consumer-driven culture is killing our democracy. Buy yourself a hybrid, a solar panel, a composting toilet, and set yourself free. This is QLR. Public Liberty Radio. We return to the Intelligent Agenda. Okay, we're back on the Intelligent Agenda with me, nice Mike Riley. Let's bring out our next guest. Now, Brandon, can you uh, hang out for a while? You got it, All right, scooch on over the couch there. All right, our next up, he's an actor as well, but has gotten into politics by running for governor of our state. You may have seen the TV commercials for John Hunter where he accuses Michael Graves of all kinds of nasty things. Well, here he is, John Hunter. Wow, thank you. I mean, that's, that's really wonderful. Wow, you look great, John. Thank you, thanks. How's the campaign going? Mike, it's just fake. Out at this is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Years of bit parts. I want to bring the reality. I could really use one nice meth line. Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies. Relax. That guy's 